I want to ramble about something that I think might be a little bit controversial with a lot of people. And that's the idea that perhaps, just perhaps, the Templars might actually be right in this ideological conflict. Now, before I get into explaining why I believe this, I want to make it very clear that there's a stark difference between ideology and methodology. I'm not here to excuse the methodology of a lot of Templars in Assassin's Creed. A lot of the fictional characters have done atrocious things to human beings. And throughout history, Ubisoft and the writing team have decided that a lot of the tyrants throughout history, including Hitler, have been Templars. And I'm not here to say that these people were actually right or that what they did was justified because obviously it was not. I think that very common Templar methodology, including historical figures, including people like Vidic, is completely immoral and never ever justified. The means through which a lot of Templars achieve their goal, in my opinion, is deeply immoral and not what I'm here to defend. However, the belief that Templars have, in my opinion, the idea of order through peace, is something that I can resonate with much more than the belief that assassins have, which is freedom and peace. Now, basically, let me just give you the sparks notes of what the Templars and the Assassins in Assassin's Creed believe in, just in case you're new to Assassin's Creed or want to run down. Generally speaking, Assassins and Templars both want to achieve the idea of peace. However, Templars want to achieve it through order and control, believing that you cannot trust the masses, the average human being, to maintain peace, and that you need someone or something to maintain order. They often do this through different means of control throughout history, with the underlying method and goal being finding pieces of Eden to try and further their own personal political power and to be able to control the masses. And the most popular example of this is the Apple of Eden, which most people know about in Assassin's Creed, which is just an artifact that allows you to control human beings as well as create illusions and other things like that. In contrast, the Assassins are freedom fighters, very, very violent freedom fighters, but freedom fighters nonetheless. What they believe in is that the most important thing that humanity has is free will, and that it is important to preserve it at all costs. They don't believe in the idea of controlling a population or ordering a population around, and they believe that if the only worthwhile way to achieve peace is through giving freedom to all the people. This is why the Assassin's Creed motto or the Assassin's Creed MO is nothing is true and everything is permitted because they believe in the idea of free will to the ultimate degree. It is the ultimate maxim in their lives. What I want to do is analyze these ideologies separated from the methodology because even though Templars are extremely violent, power abusive and horrible human beings a lot of the time throughout history, low-key so are assassins. They're, they're mass murderers. They kill people without remorse, especially guards and people just minding their own business and I'm not here to morally excuse either or. This is a fictional franchise that is mainly told through the medium of video games, which of course have to be fun and violent and, you know, over the top. So I just want to discuss the idea of peace through order and peace through freedom and explain why I think that actually Templars are probably right on this. So assuming that there is such a thing as free will, which of course can be doubted as well, the usual argument is saying that the reason why evil exists in this world is free will. You see this in a lot of religious arguments, you see this in a lot of moral arguments, is that evil exists because free will exists, and that it is so important to maintain free will that it is a price to pay. Evil is simply just a price to pay that humans have because of this innate thing that separates us from animals and plants and other organisms on the planet. Now, immediately we see how it is very often this very idea of free will, the ability to choose violence, that creates problems in this world. And it doesn't seem sustainable or realistic for assassins to want to permeate peace throughout the entire world and ensure the freedom of all civilians and expect that to lead to peace. The trust that assassins place on human beings to me seems completely misplaced. I don't think that people, whether in this fictional world or in the real life, have the ability to live a peaceful life and not enact violence and greed and sin if given the freedom to do it. I think that the majority of human beings would choose to most of the time. But a minority of human beings would choose not to most of the time. And even those who do enact good most of the time, even you and me who try to be good people most of the time, have done bad things. It does not seem logical to me to then extrapolate general freedom that we have to the nth degree and, and build a world with complete freedom and believe that there could ever be peace. So to me, the assassins seem to be fighting for a self-refuting prophecy, which is that freedom will lead to peace because so much of the violence that they fight against stems from that very freedom that they want to preserve. I think freedom and peace are mutually exclusive and I think they always will be as long as human beings are human beings. The main problem I have which leads me to decide with the Templars in this discussion is the idea that free will is worth all the evil in the world. The idea that yes there's going to be evil, there's going to be pain and there's going to be horrible things that human beings do to each other but it's worth preserving free will. I personally think, philosophically speaking, that's a very arrogant stance to take. And I agree with so many of the arguments, especially that Haytham and other people make, around the idea of order and controlling the populace to ensure peace. 
you and me who are probably very lucky in life and again i don't want to assume any of your blessings in life because maybe you haven't been as lucky but generally speaking most of the people watching this have been very lucky in life and the pain that we've undergone is in the grand scheme of things probably not as drastic or as traumatic as some people that are stuck in war zones or suffering from illnesses or going through horrible horrible things as we stand here talking about assassin's creed on youtube and that's not even in the context of all of history where most of humanity have had horrible existences of course it's easy for us to say that free will is worth you know the bad days that we have or, or the losses that we have in our lives but could we really stand here and say that our free will is worth other people's problems other people's pains is it worth the wars and death that we have is it worth the famine the abuse the power is it worth all of that i believe that it's not i believe that fighting for freedom when this is the price to pay is not worth it and i cannot imagine a world where increasing freedom can get rid of all of this i don't believe that a utopia as the assassins want to fight for it can exist and this is where the templars come in and the one true necessary evil seems to be control seems to be to accept that the very idea of free will is not innately valuable and in my opinion is not worth it when you look at it through an objective lens free will doesn't seem to be worth it when this is the price to pay so you stand to choose between two things try and keep fighting for freedom hoping that a utopia will flourish that will allow human beings to act in accordance with moral laws sustainably enough that there is not enough pain to think oh free will is not worth it or you realize that templars have kind of made a realization themselves that order is the only way to get peace and the lack of human suffering seems to be the best way to go. If you had to choose between free will and pain and order and happiness, I think we should all be obliged to choose order because as I said, we can say that we're willing to pay our pain for free will but i don't think we're in a position to say that it's worth other people's pain especially when so many people go through horrible horrible things in this world so even though i don't agree with a lot of the methodology the templars have the idea of using an apple of eden or something else to control a population to ensure peace doesn't seem that far-fetched of course the flaw here is that a human being is doing the controlling and as the quote says power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely which means you cannot really trust a human being to declare himself a moral paragon in this world and that never does any wrong and be able to control an entire human population. And that's where the problem lies, that most Templars are just as vulnerable and subject to the pitfalls of being a human being as anyone else. So from the Templars' perspective, there's a lot of hypocrisy or weakness in their theory because they themselves should not be the ones controlling the population. However, the pure idea, the pure ideology or belief that order leads to peace much more successfully than free will is something that I can get behind and I think that the Templars are completely right on. I don't know what the solution is to this issue of course i don't think anyone actually knows but i think it's something that's worth discussing when we look at assassins and templars having this eternal conflict throughout the ages how often is it actually the ideological conflict that is making them fight and how often is it simply the individual templars at the time and the individual assassins at the time being flawed humans who are fighting because of their own moral inconsistencies or, or moral sins this is something that i thought was so interesting and underexplored in assassin's creed unity in ac unity when the game starts it seems like the templars and the assassins are going to have have a truce which seems like a very natural and obvious thing that you would want where you have to find a balance between freedom and order between peace and pain and i wish that ac unity had explored that more because i think it's such an interesting idea but i just wanted to throw this out there to see what you think to see whether you think i'm crazy and i'm just trying to excuse some horrible acts which again i, I don't think i am and if you think that in fact the assassins are right and the templars are wrong or if there's more nuance to this conversation so if you watch this far thank you so much let me know what you think in the comments below and this is stuff that i really like doing and i hope that you enjoy because i really like delving into the psychology of the assassin's creed and a lot of the philosophical concepts a video i made discussing the tragedy of the assassin's creed is probably showing on the screen right now and it's a video where i go into the idea of how tragic the life of an assassin is which kind of links into this a little bit and if you're interested in watching that you can watch it now